Let's rock and roll it. Well, that'll be the day when you say goodbye. Yes, that'll be the day. In 1993, history was made on the Fridley stage when Fridley High School became the first amateur theater in the world to perform the Buddy Holly story. Staff, cast, and crew began the daunting task of producing this once-in-a-lifetime show. Over 100 of Fridley's finest made up the cast, the school's dance team, orchestra, stage crew, sound and lights team, set, and costume builders. But still, no one knew what was in store for what should have been a business-as-usual fall production. The chance to play a real person was very attractive to me. Um, and of course Buddy Holly played the guitar and I had never picked up a guitar in my life. So I ran out to Schmidt Music, took two guitar lessons over the course of a weekend, grabbed the only bass player and drummer that I knew and played for two weeks nonstop one song over and over and over again. And then when the audition came, we crammed into this uh, little room off, off of the auditorium, into this conference room. The entire production team is there with us. Everybody's nervous. I don't know what I'm doing, but we managed to get through it. And a few days later, the cast list was post. And then I felt a little overwhelmed. And Gary Sender, I'll never forget, asked me, he said, well, can you learn 15 more? We had seven weeks to do it. There wasn't a person in the community that didn't know about the production. Buddy broke all previous ticket records at Fridley and sold out several shows in advance, an achievement that had never been realized before. Newspapers and television news couldn't get enough of Buddy. I remember my parents telling me that they saw a guy scalping tickets outside of the Fridley High School auditorium before one of the performances of Buddy. I remember thinking to myself, you know, it must be good when the criminal element comes out to make a buck. Between that whole thing and that image of grown men and women leaping into the aisles and dancing, I knew we were part of something unprecedented for an amateur theater. A key moment in the production when the magic was really hitting home for each of the audiences is when Buddy and the Crickets and Norman Petty and his wife Vi were in the recording studio in Clovis, New Mexico, and they were piecing together every day. And I listened to that in the rehearsals, and I thought, this sounds like the actual sound. This looks like the actual group. And sure enough, on nights of performance, I could just sense in the audience that nobody was moving. Everybody was glued to the stage, and I just thought we had something special at that moment. It was really all about the ensemble, and they created some very, very special moments. And that's one of the things that I remember most. There were such moments of, um, of great friendship uh, that came out of that script, um, great comedy. Some real tender, intimate moments between Buddy and his wife. Uh, and then, of course, the celebration of music. It's an experience that I will take with me forever. Going through something like that with all that energy in there and, and all those people coming out just to see you and, and you know your 100 best friends uh, in that show and get to see you perform it was unbelievable. At times I had to actually you know really rein myself in just to be able to play the show. There you were in front of 800 people um, and the energy in that room that that cast and crew and all those talented people created just made for a moment that will never be captured again. I vividly remember sitting out in that audience and on nights of performance, the audiences shouting and cheering and the excitement that they felt at that moment. And I have to believe that's what Buddy Holly felt. 
the last night of his life. No matter if you were on stage, in the audience, or one of the unlucky to have missed the show, the Buddy Holly story brought the Fridley community together in a way that is still talked about 17 years later. And 1993 will always be a year to remember. This was the year of the Buddy Holly story. <laughs>